Well, hello there, Internet, and thank you for watching this continuation of Developing Core uh, CMS. So, um, let's jump right in. So, what we've done so far is we have uh, created um, some of the basic files that we are going to be working with. Uh, let's look at the structure of what we've done so far. So, you'll notice some new files and folders. Uh, the first folder that you'll see is files and this contains two different folders it contains a temporary temp folder as well as uploads uh, let's see we have an includes a includes folder is uh, almost the same uh, we have a library settings uh, index just so it doesn't get access directly I need editing that CFM same way uh, we have a, in the within the library folder we have another folder called core and then that has the index.html which is just a blank uh, once again to prevent direct access we go into the core we'll see uh, core which is a folder and that doesn't have anything in it yet but it would we have database nothing in it yet module nothing in it yet a uh, request that does have something in it, it has a request at CFC uh, which we'll get into at a later point um, but right now I just want to go through uh, the structure so far and we'll just continue. Security doesn't have anything in it, uh, as well as the index. Um, settings, uh, I'm on the fence about this, but uh, constant.set.cfm, uh, we may use that. I'm still debating whether or not that's going to be uh, necessary, useful uh, for the application. But we'll um, continue on, guys. I will, of course, update you on whether or not that's going to be used. But the biggest concern is let's go ahead and open up the application.cfc file. If you don't have these files, I'm going to create a GitHub account and I will post a link to the files that I currently have uh, on GitHub so you guys can uh, stick with us and see what exactly we're doing. And of course, I will update that as frequently as possible. Okay, so let's go here and. Um, let's examine what we have so you'll notice a lot of changes to the application.cfc file uh, let's start from the very beginning I did add a little bit of documentation there uh, so no worries to that uh, you'll notice in between the CF component and the function on request start that I've added some details uh, let's um, talk about this tag here CF set this dot name equals uh, we're hashing the get current template path and what that's going to do is it's going to name the application that way you can look in your administrator to see uh, some of the resources that it's using as well as uh, debugging purposes you also notice that uh, session, ma session management I uh, added a couple of tags uh, this dot session management is talking about this particular application here and so we set that to true because we do want session, session management. Uh, we do set the session timeout to uh, 30 minutes. Uh, this is seconds, minutes, hours, days. And uh, this mappings, this is um, it's not used right now, but we may use this. So I'll just put that there just in case. And let's go on down to on request start. And we're going to explain to you uh, a little bit about what's happening. Okay, so on request start, you'll notice that we have uh, this is new here, and we have application directory of installation, and we're going to create a new structure, and then the directory application directory will give us information about uh, where exactly the application is installed, and then we create a new uh, directory structure, excuse me, uh, from this structure. So we say application.directory.root is new structure and then we say the root path so this is the path that is your to your location for example uh, this is c colon for server cf9 ww root slash core uh, if you're using dreamweaver you'll notice up at the very top to the point of where you're using that's that's where it is and uh, use forward slashes that seems to to work better and uh, we have a CF application directory that root depth. What that is saying that from from this folder here, 
to the installation of core is how many it is. If it's on the root, this would be zero. So being that we're one folder in depth, we're going to put one there. And that was a bug that I found when I was uh, coding core uh, a couple of months ago before I decided to, you know, uh, change everything up because I'm, I'm going back. I'm uh, modifying some of the code and making it a little bit more uh, useful. And the next thing you'll see is application.directory.root.cfc. And once again, if you were in your uh, root directory, like if you didn't have any uh, depth, that would just be blank. But being that we have it installed within a folder, it's going to be core.dash. And the same thing applies to the application directory root folder. So, like that said, that's what we have with core and forward slash. All right, very good. And now let's go down. The data sources have not changed. Data source information is still the same. And we did add one more thing, and we added a application dot encrypt key. So once we start doing encryption, like with passwords, this is what we will be using um, throughout the application. So make sure once you've set it and you started to create users that you do not change this. If you change this and you forget what you created this encryption key as, it would be very, very bad because it would uh, give you um, an invalid encryption type. It would you know, totally mess everything up. Uh, so once you set that, it could be any string you want to. Just make sure it doesn't have any uh, special characters. Just use uh, alpha numeric. Uh, characters and then you'll be fine um, okay very good so now we're just going to save that and the next thing that we're going to do is we are actually going to be looking um, into the inet.inc.cfm file and we're going to be uh, discussing that a little bit more as I said you know guys I want to try to keep these videos really short uh, that way for most people if they try to see what certain things are they can just quickly reference um, the video and see what it is uh, you know we're trying to build a community here guys so if you have any questions suggestions or comments just please let me know and I'll be great I'll be very happy to answer your questions alright guys have a good one and thank you for watching